In the ballet world, there are two types of dancers. You have a male dancer and a female dancer. There's really no in between. Growing up, I really didn't fit that binary. But I really do know who I am today. I'm a transgender ballerina. This great big story was made possible by Procter & Gamble. I was born a male, but I have always known that I've been gender fluid. In my head and in my heart, I really did feel that I was female. And it's something everyone that I've met has known. Oh, look! Nine-year-old Jay. Oh, so little. I've been dancing as a male since I was five, but I was never able to really express myself fully. As a male dancer, you have to be able to do a lot of partnering. It was really hard for me to pick up, and I just felt more that a girl was partnering a girl. There really was no right place for me to fit in. When I was alone, I danced how I wanted to dance. I was just able to be free for a few hours and be able to just express myself how I wanted to express myself. When I was 17, I was in a pre-professional program at a school. And when I decided to come out to the school, the school was not as accepting as my parents and I thought it was going to be. At the end of the school year, they told me that they did not want me to come back as a female, and they were not going to extend my scholarship as a female. I sort of gave up trying to prove myself to the school because I really would rather be somewhere where I feel wanted. After the school year ended, I went back home to train with my current dance studio, First State Dance Academy, as my true self, as a female, and dancing there makes me feel very supported and I'm in a class where I can just dance and not have to worry about the outside world. There aren't really many differences when it comes to male and female training. We go through bar, center, jumps, turns. It's just as a male dancer, you tend to jump a little bit more, whereas females, do point work. I think the most difficult part of dancing on point is everything. You're basically standing on top of your toes in these hard shoes. Put weight on your back foot so you can move your front foot. I really was surprised to see that point wasn't as easy and graceful as the other girls made it. But the more that I did it throughout the week and classes and rehearsals, the more that my feet started to mold to my shoes. There you go, good job. After a month of training on point, my dance teacher cast me as a snow queen in her production of The Nutcracker. It was nerve wracking because it was my first role as a female. I was shocked at the fact that I didn't mess up at all, but I was more excited to just perform in front of an audience. At the end of the day, I really am just a ballerina. My goal is to dance professionally. I'm just like the other girls. I am working hard and I'm striving to get to where I want to be.